Hello friends, in this tutorial we will study how to delete a node from the binary search tree. Using the visualization program, we will understand the process of deletion in the binary search tree. There are different cases arises when we delete a node from the binary search tree. So we will first understand those cases and then later on we will perform the deletion of a node from the binary search tree. Now there are three different cases. The first case is if the node to be deleted has zero child. It means there are no childs present for a node to be deleted. And such a node is called as leaf node. A node which does not have a child is called leaf node or it is also called external node. So it means that in this case we want to delete leaf node. If it is a leaf node then we simply delete that node without any adjustments. In case 2 if the node to be deleted has only one child it may be a left child or it may be a right child. Then we delete the node by replacing the node by its child. In case 3, if the node to be deleted has both the childs present, it means it has left child as well as right child present to it. Then we have two possibilities here. We can replace the node to be deleted by its in order predecessor node or we can replace the node to be deleted by its in order successor node. Now as we know if you traverse any binary search tree in in order fashion you always get the ascending order sequence of it. So we will see how to get the in order predecessor and how to get the in order successor. Now when you arrange this data in ascending order to find the in order successor you just have to take the next immediate next element of that particular element and if you want to find the in order predecessor node it means it is a immediate before node of node to be deleted so we will pick the before element for in order predecessor Consider this tree where we are going to perform the deletion operation on certain elements. Before performing any deletion operation on binary search tree, we always search that particular element. If that element is present, we can delete that element. If the element is not present, then the program should return an error. Correct. So, we will first check our case 1 where we want to delete the leaf node. So here node 5, node 15, 25, 45 and node 85 are leaf node because it does not have any child. There are no child for these nodes, leaf nodes. So if you want to delete any leaf node, you have to first search it. So there is a text box given in front of you in front of this find button just insert the value you want to delete say i want to delete 85 which is the leaf node in this diagram i will first find it so it is greater than 30 greater than 40 greater than 50 greater than 75 so here it is found so it is the last element into this tree and which is a leaf node here and we want to delete this leaf node after finding this element, just click on the delete button. So whenever it is a leaf node, we just simply delete it without any further adjustment. Click delete button to delete that. So it is successfully deleted now. So case 1 is satisfied. Now case 2. In case 2, we delete an element where it has only one child. So in this particular diagram, if you see node 40 has only one child that is right child that is 50. 
Suppose we want to delete 40, then what will happen? If a node to be deleted has only one child, it is always replaced by its child. So we will first find 40 into this diagram. Find 40 which has a single child. It is less than 30 and we found 40 here. Now we found the element 40 into the diagram. Click on the delete button and see the adjustment through visualization. 50 will take the place of node 40 which was the single child present there. So we have studied case 2. Now in case 3, case 3 is about deletion of a node which has both the childs present. So here there are internal nodes like node 30 which has two child, node 20 which has two child, node 50 also have two children right. So it means that we have three four nodes which has both the child present into it. Suppose I want to delete node 30 which has both the child present that's 20 and 50 in this case. So I will first find that particular node by using this find function given here find 30. So it is a root node so we found in only one comparison we found node 30 click on delete button after deletion there are two possibilities when a node has both the child present we can replace this particular node by its in order successor node or we can replace this node by its in order successor node this simulator is providing the deletion of this particular node by its in order successor it means that which is the in order successor node in this particular diagram so immediate next element if you traverse this whole diagram in in order fashion it always gives you ascending order sequence. So after 30, if you arrange this data, you will get 45. So the 45 will take the place of node 30. So click on delete button, you will see the animation. Through animation, you will understand which element will going to take the place of node 30. So this is finding now the in order successor node. We found it as 45. 45 has taken the place of node 30 and it has been deleted successfully. So like this we can understand and we can perform delete operation on binary search tree. Thank you for watching this video.